Welcome back again, everyone. I wanted to get started on the engine mounting mock-up and the Honda ATVW, but nothing got done due to a whole week of this. Yeah, the rain was cold and sideways at times. Plus, some of the minor parts that I needed to do this haven't even arrived by the time of this recording. Now, I don't just want to cop out and not put a video up for you guys. So this week, I thought I should cover in detail the 4 to 5 lug rear drum conversion that we did. I get asked about it a lot in private and public messages, going way back since before this project even, so I figured we should cover it here. The Honda ATVW isn't the most conventional of Volkswagens, but the process is still the same. If you'd like to see more of the Honda, there's a link in the upper corner of the screen. Thanks so much for joining us today, don't forget to licky likey, comment and subscribe, and let's get down! Okay, well what happens when you have a four lug drum and you wish to convert back to a five lug? And maybe the reason is because you want to install some of them older styled Volkswagen wheels? Well, we're going to show you how to do that here in this video. Check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. Ashlyn's got some, B's got some. And we're going to proceed with this project right here because you guys keep asking for it. So we're going to demonstrate it. So why you would want to go from a four lug to five lug bolt pattern is completely up to you. Some people argue the five lug bolt pattern is stronger, but the lugs are also smaller than their four lug equivalent, so I suppose that changes the argument a little bit for some people. For the rest of us, it's all about aesthetics. People want that original classic VW look as Dr. Porsche himself originally created it. That's how I feel about it anyway. Big, beautiful, domed hubcaps. Yeah, hubcaps. They're so much more beautiful than their flatter late model replacements. This video focuses on the rear brakes because that's what I get asked about most. So what does it take to put the five lug wheels on your late model four lug Volkswagen? Well, we'll cover that here in this video and the process should be about the same for all VW Beetle-like platforms that have the same rear end. This includes Beetles, Things, Carmen Gears, Type 3s, and even Type 2 buses that have been converted to Beetle IRS. It also works for 1968 Volkswagen Beetles that have a long swing axle suspension and transmission. In my opinion, the best method to convert is just cheating and taking the easy way out and just convert it to disc. Both for performance and maintenance requirements, this would be superior. I've even covered all of that in another video, and you can find the link here and in the video description, but that can be costly. And what if you don't want to buy an entire disc brake set? The conversion doesn't take much to do if you already have the parts laying around. Of course, you'll need a pair of five lug drums. No, you cannot put your five lug drums over your late model backing plates. Well, nobody listens to me anyway, so yeah, you can. But the spacing is all wrong and the brake shoes are too wide. And even if you swapped out the earlier shoes, the spacing is still going to be wrong. And when you torque the hub down, it will bind. Or worse yet, something will get crushed and break. But seriously, don't destroy your old brake parts because you can probably sell or trade them and recover some of your costs. Well, I suppose you could buy a set of drums to retrofit that are the wider late model equivalents with five lug holes already drilled. Or you could have your existing four lug drums drilled by a machinist, but this is likely much more expensive if you just have an abundance of older classic parts laying around. And that's what I had here in my case. So, you'll need the rear backing plates complete with shoes and a working wheel cylinder. I recommend replacing the wheel cylinder almost always as they're only about $10 each and will save you a lot of headaches. One last thing that you'll need that makes this all work is the axle stub spacer that goes under the nut. This is critical as all later model Volkswagens had longer axles. So let's start tearing some stuff apart. First you've got to remove the cotter pin from the rear axle. In my case they were already rusted out and completely missing. Off camera we sprayed down the nuts with some penetrating lube and we let them sit for a little while. The brake line was also already cut so nothing to remove here. Then we pulled out the torque multiplier tool. All links are down below in the video description if you need any of the tools demonstrated in this video. And off the nut came. We got lucky. That nut came off fairly easily. But not the same case with the drum. The drum was pretty well bound up. I couldn't remove it short of smashing it to pieces. But in the best interest of trying to save these parts for future use or trade value, I used a proper drum puller. And I love this tool. It makes removing drums so easy. But once the drum is off, I discovered everything on the inside busted up pretty bad. I didn't expect the shoes or wheel cylinder to be much good anyway, but everything else can be reused once it's cleaned up. So you can use this for trade value of everything that you've removed. Next, we removed the rear axle bearing cover. It was also pretty crusty. 
Then simply pull the backing plate straight off. Once that's off, you can easily fit the older style rear plate. Ordinarily here, I would replace the gaskets, seals, and clean and repaint the parts. But all this is just getting test fitted to the Honda ATVW and is all going to be coming apart later anyway and long before it gets driven. I discovered that I was missing the pins, spring, and clips that retain the brake shoes in place. These are important and don't leave these out. No, you can't use the pins from the later shoes as they are too long. I suppose you could modify them, but I just ordered another set. It didn't seem worth it to me to get through all that work. But if it came down to it, you could probably still reuse the springs and clips. This is where you would install the e-brake cable, but I was forced to leave the shoes out for the moment, and the new pins just didn't arrive in time for the video. So, well, just for demonstration purposes, the shoes were left out, and the drum was reinstalled after greasing up the axle splines. This is important here. You could end up with a stuck drum the next time you have to remove it to do some brake work. Once the drum is on, this is where you need your axle spacer. I had a set from a rear disc brake kit that I ordered some years ago. I didn't need the spacers back then, so they sat in my toolbox until today. Win! But if you do need a set of spacers, you might be able to pull a set from the bearing cover from your donor parts car. Those will work fine. I do recommend painting them as they are intended to sit in grease, or they will just rust something ugly. After the spacer, install your axle nut and torque it down to spec. The torque multiplier comes in handy in this case, it is highly recommended. But don't just think that bouncing on some cheater bar is enough to make it safe. The wheel will come off if you made a mistake here and possibly ruin your car or kill somebody. Don't be that guy. Lastly, install your cotter pin. If the hole doesn't line up, then tighten the nut to the next available position and then you're done. Reinstall your brake lines and then bleed and adjust your brakes. After that, the wheels are ready to reinstall, and it's time for a test drive. But that is now a five lug drum on an IRS rear suspension. And that's how it's done. Like, comment, subscribe. Plug that dingle belly so you get updates every time we upload a video. Check out dugshit.net for all of our different social media links. And uh, don't forget to come back because we're going to demonstrate as to what's getting built over here. This is something really interesting, and maybe it's already been updated. You might have already seen the video. I don't know what order I'm going to be uploading these things, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps somebody.